So, I think I'm back. Can't imagine where the week's gone. I don't know if I've done much. I have a new splash screen intro scene, which I'm going to use for a couple of minutes just until uh, three o'clock. Check my monitor on my laptop here. Yeah, he was dreaming. I don't have to uh, have my stream on all the time, but it looks like my router can cope with it. And today I have upped the bitrate just a bit so that I can try and stream at 1920 by 1080. It looks a little awkward on my monitor because my monitors are 1920 by 1200. So they're 1610, but I'm, I think streaming in 169 is better. So I've got a bit of uh, monitor scaling going on, but I can live with that for an hour. and quiet here at the moment. I bet there'll be a few planes going over. I did a couple of tests earlier and one went over and uh, did enough show up on the camera or on the uh, on the mic that my webcam is using. I'm gonna kick off because I'm other I'm sitting here doing nothing. My start page is looking good. Let's see if my hotkey is going to work. Hello, I think I'm on. Going to have to check my monitor. Yes, I am indeed on. Going to turn that off now. Excellent. So where was I? A couple of uh, a couple of days. It was a week ago now. I was. Talking about Cocos 2D JS, my remake of my old game, Aquastax. Uh, we didn't get very far, but we did a few things. If you look back at the video for part one, I've annotated a whole load of um, time codes so that you can skip through the boring chatty bits and just check out the, uh, the anything interesting. There wasn't a lot of interesting stuff, but in the end I did install Cocos 2D JS. Uh, we created a sample project, or a skeleton project, checked some stuff into source code, we browsed around my old original source code, uh, and then, then pretty much the end. Um, the video cut out before the end, but uh, the, the last bit was just c committing stuff to GitHub, I think. So I said I was going to get some splash screens and stuff going this week. We might get around to that. However, there's a really important thing you have to do before you talk splash screens, you have to figure out how you're going to manipulate the uh, manipulate the resolution and the, the internal units of your game and especially if you're going to run something on the web and hopefully multiple uh, multiple mobile devices at the end of the day as well. I'm going to end up needing to design this at certain resolution. I'm going to need to have multiple resource sets, probably for smaller devices and bigger devices. And then you have to make sure the code scales up and use them properly. And there's a lot of complicated stuff in, in doing this on Cocos 2DJS and Cocos 2DX. So what well, I had a bit of a good look around um, and some reading of some of the docs. Uh, go to the Cocos 2DJS website and just search for multiple resolutions and you end up with a whole lot of interesting stuff. Um, and what it means is we've got to figure out a few things first before we can actually uh, actually start doing more code. If you don't get this right or if you don't understand this stuff early on 
then it can come and bite you with the ass, and I'm sure it will even do that anyway. So I'm looking here at main.js. Uh, if you remember my Aquastax project sits in GitHub. There's also uh, stuff that was generated by the Cocos command when we ran it. And we've got some source and some resources, my splash screen, a bit of reference. Oh, that's my animated GIF, animated GIF. <laughs> Doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, index, main, app. They're the main files that we'll be caring about. So let's just run this again, see if I can um, get something up on the screen and then we can uh, How did we run it? It's Cocos uh, run minus whip, wasn't it? Here we go. So it's booted up web browser, loaded up game code. And as you can see at the moment, the canvas is scroll is um scrolling. It's resizing when I resize the browser, and it also seems to be locked at a particular aspect ratio. Looks like it's possibly 4.3. Looks like an old TV screen. Uh, let's kind of try and figure out what the hell it's doing and if we can actually change that and do something that we want to uh, get it to do what we want to do. So this is the game start method. So I've made JS. Pass through to enable retina display. I'm just going to go through this line by line because it was generated for me, so I don't yet understand it. So it's always a bad idea having code inside your project that you don't understand. So I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Enable Retina. Just going to Google this stuff first, or actually I should be able to somehow find the help. Do we got any search? No, we don't have any search. It's cc.view.enable Retina. Here we are, I'm already here. I was looking at this earlier. Thought I'd give myself a bit of a heads up. Enable Retina. Enable Retina support. Retina support is enabled by default for Apple device, but disabled for all other devices. Well, that seems like pretty reasonable. Only useful on the web. Why do we need to change it? Enable Retina. Well, I'm going to comment that out for now because I don't know if it's necessary or not. Don't even think I need it. Adjust viewport. What's that going to do? Um, Sets whether the engine modify the viewport meta in your web page. It's enabled by default. We strongly suggest you do not disable it. Oh, what this is going to do is probably it's modif when I'm resizing the browser or something's going on inside Cocos 2D, it's going to be changing the meta tags, meta tags which are up here somewhere. Here we are. Uh, probably this kind of business. We'll leave that as it is then. Uncomment the following line to set a fixed orientation for your game. We don't need a fixed orientation. Not going to need that. Set up the resolution policy and design resolution size. Now this is the this is the the guts of what we're interested in. I think. Let's figure out what it does. Set design resolution size and policy. Where is it? Here it is, set design resolution size. Sets the resolution policy with designed view size in points and the resolution policy. Resolution exact fit. What are we using? We're using show all. Screen, fill screen by stretch to fit. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to read all that. I'm going to actually just try a few things out. Let's just change that to something a bit more reasonable. I'm going to end up making a probably a primarily PC game. I want it to go full screen. So we're going to go for a 69 aspect ratio. 960 by 640, that's that's 32. So let's just change it to something that's... I've got a few notes written down here. Uh, 960 by 540 will give us a 169 aspect ratio. Uh, I can do this. Let's bring up the developer tools. down there, refresh. So oh, that's better. Now we've got something that's 16.9 and 
In fact, I can probably full screen that. Uh, it's just, uh, can I do full screen without a window? No, without window controls, no, I can't. Let's go back to that. Is there a view? A view full screen? Hotkey? View. Enter full screen. Ah, I push shift F. No, it still does browser. Nah. Trouble with using Synergy, which is the uh, tool that I use for sharing my keyboard and mouse with my PC and Mac, is it tends to not make hotkeys work. I had to uh, had to use my real Mac keyboard to fire up OBS earlier on and use my hotkey. Anyway, let's go back to that. Oh yeah, definitely got a 69 aspect ratio. And let's leave that for a minute. It's just, yeah, resize with browser size. So if I set that to false, refresh, it's going to get, just going to, yeah, it's just going to stay at the same size. Right. True. Let's leave it at 960 by 540 for the minute. What I want to do is display a few things on the screen so I can get some stuff like coordinates and things. So we don't need all this stuff at the moment. What's it doing here? Wind size. CC.wind size. I'll figure out what that is. That's probably the window size. Um, presumably the window of my, my canvas or something like that. Let's draw. Let's get rid of this for now. Steve Abel, don't need that. Don't need my PNG for the minute. What I want to do is stick something on the screen. It's just um, resolution. Let's see. I made a few notes. Got some notes off screen here on my other monitor. Uh, what do we want? Wind size. We want a label. And we want it to be wind size plus. Oh, actually, we can do size dot width plus size dot height. Might as well stick this somewhere down the bottom left of the screen. Um, it's going to be zero. Oh, let's go twenty and twenty. What does that do? Nothing at all. Oh, I'm getting the um, crazy resources. Oh, that's a debugger. Why are you not refreshing? It keeps happening. I'm going to have to fix this. Something to do with project.json, maybe? This no cache. I'm going to set this to true and see what it does. Hopefully that will fix any caching issues I'm getting. Let's run again. No, it's going. Let's see, develop. Error console. Oh, can't find it. Okay, so I broke the code. Of course, I changed the variable name. There we go, 960 by 540. So that's my, that's basically the size I've told it I'm using for my um, my screen and resolution, which is that, 960 by 540. If I change this, 960 by 640, refresh. Ah, yes, and um, we're getting refreshing occurs. Right, let's go back to 960 by 540. It's supposed to say wind size. What's going on? Oh, it takes its time, doesn't it? It's going to cache. It's not going to cache any of the uh, <coughs> any of the Cocos 2D framework files. Anyway, 
probably the uh, label is going to be anchored wrong. So all these nodes in Cocos 2D have different anchors and um, set anchor point zero zero. Hopefully that'll be bottom left. So, so oh, there we go. So it's all very well setting it to cache, but it's certainly not. I'm going to have to sort out the uh, auto reload uh, business before next time. I might do a stream during. The, I keep saying I'm going to do a stream during the week, but I didn't have time to do anything this week. So wind size 960 by 540. Right. What else we need to care about? Out of interest, canvas size. I wonder. get out of Kokos 2D view class. So get canvas size, there we are. size don't I? Did that work? Was it wind size? Yeah it is wind size. So JC, <laughs> thank you for saying hello. <laughs> a, few, a few people doing the room. Excellent. Uh, where, where, where was I? Completely forgotten. X equals 20. <laughs> y, uh, what are we, 38 point font? Uh, add 50 to that. 70. This got a child. So I'm sticking a new label onto the screen, hopefully a Above the uh, the last one, to the window size. Now we're getting the canvas size. Assuming the uh, it runs. No, what did I do? Temp dot width. View get canvas size. Width and height. Ah, okay. Doesn't like that. Why not? Not undefined. It says it's undefined. CC dot view to get canvas size. Okay, maybe it doesn't know that. We're in the constructor. Maybe it doesn't yet know what the canvas size is. Hmm. Code I tested out earlier seems to uh, get that right. Get canvas size. So. Let's just do a copy and paste because, yeah, don't really get camera size. CC dot size, that comes back as uh, width and height. CC dot view dot get canvas height. Uh, get, get canvas size. So I'll do it up here. Temp dot width, temp dot height. How do you handle working with three monitors and talk at the same time? So JC's asked a question. Um, I don't know yet. I've only this is only the second time I've done this. 
The three monitors is easy. That's using, I just have a PC and a Mac connected with um, Synergy, which is a keyboard mouse sharing code, a pro keyboard and mouse sharing program. And talking, I'm trying to force myself to talk. Basically, you're watching this, um, and yeah, I can sit here and be completely silent, or I can vocalize my thoughts as I'm doing it, and uh, with any luck, that'll sort of like give some people something to listen to uh, in the background <laughs> while I'm trying to figure out uh, figure out stuff. Plus, also, it might be of, of, of some interest what I'm thinking while I'm doing this. So I'm trying to figure out at the moment why Canvas get Canvas signs isn't working. Um, it's definitely now. Maybe we can debug it. So if I jump in there, uh, undefined, here we go. Oh no, what have I done? Ah, of course, right, okay, so I've stuck myself. What did I do to change that then? Um, it's not cc.view.winsize, it's cc.winsize, isn't it? When a hidden variable somewhere inside Kirkos 2 djs that was given to us by the sample code that I didn't understand. Here we go. <clears throat> Once you've had big monitors like this for a while, your neck gets used to jumping around. I'm not doing much on the other monitors. On this screen here, I've just got a, a window open on my um, on my router, checking the uh, real-time bandwidth to make sure I'm streaming and not dropping frames. Actually, I haven't checked whether I'm dropping frames. No, it's all looking good at the moment because I upped my bitrate. The um, I wanted to check it wasn't going horribly wrong. And that's just got some uh, some notes that I made earlier. So we've got canvas size. That's going to be the actual pixel ratio, pixel size of the canvas in the web page, isn't it? Because I'm scaling it up and down. That's interesting. It's not, of course, it's not going to change. We can do something about that. But my window size, according to my code, is still 960 by 540 because that's why I've defined the the, res the design resolution, which is exactly the um, the sort of the, the screen size or the point size. It's not actual pixels. It's points which you design your your layouts and your screens at, and it always stays the same. And then you leave it up to Coco Studio JS to decide how it's going to put that on the screen using this magic design resolution size. Uh, so what I want to do is make a function that will do this and update these variables as I go along. So let's do update size labels. Right, let's bung. So we're doing, we want some labels, don't need sprite anymore. Also, this is the wrong, uh, wrong spacing. Beautify. There we go, I like three spaces to my, uh, to my tab, or to hit tab, and I have three spaces inserted. So I want some labels. I want win size. I also want canvas size for the minute. And they're going to be my labels. Uh, then canvas size. Then I'm going to update them in here. Grab this size. We want the, oh, we're gonna want this dot wind size. So string and we want something like this. Down in there. You should update the string. And canvas size. We can do the same with that one as well. Temp equals get canvas size. And this referring to our variable up there. Canvas size. So string. Oh no, we only want to bet. this when the window changes. So 
window changing. I need this what we've got here. Uh, it's full screen. Resize with browser size, yeah, we know that. Set target density. Uh, ah, set resize callback, that's what I want. And that's on view, isn't it? So what I want to do is I'm going to go into my main here and do preload, that's doing some stuff. Let's Size callback. Actually, it's probably going to be an event passing to this, but I don't care about it at the moment. And in here, I just want to call update. Ah, we want um, <coughs> this to update size labels. Okay. Let's see if this works. past three already. I'm getting very far with these. Uh, something broke. Oh no, we're okay. Excellent. So if I resize the window, no, it's not doing anything. Is it even calling resize callback? Uh, back, uh, sources. Where's my sources? Resources. Scripts. There we go. App.js. No, that's not working. So it's not doing the cc.view.set resize callback, I mean, scene dot resize callback. Oh, of course, I didn't. Wait, there we go, I've got to add the scene. All right, just beautify this source file while I'm at it. Thank you. No. Close, but it'll do. Right. Nope. Still not calling that. No. Okay. CC dot resize with browser size, CC dot view dot set resize callback, main scene resize callback. Scene, isn't it? Oh. Uh, there's a layer. Inside the layer is what we're doing all the stuff at the moment. Let's hack something else. Let's just um, take what we'll do that in here. So in the constructor. That should do the job. Refactor that out a bit later on because we're gonna uh, we may not even care about it at the end of the day, but um, and with the window. Oh, 
So it's oh, did I um? Let's see. Show all. Adjust. Resize the browser size. Hello. Yes. Ah, unless it's crashed. What's it doing? <laughs> this to update size labels is not a function. passing in the function and it was not, wasn't bound to a particular object this isn't relevant or isn't valid inside the function call um, in fact we just want this dot update size labels don't we and get rid of that right third or fifth time lucky <laughs> so anybody watching getting a good uh, a good debugging ex exercise no, this dot win size dot set string. So <coughs> self dot update size labels win size win size. So what's gone wrong here then? Resize the window. Here we go, we're in. Right. Jump in. So we come down here, yep. So why what's this? This is definitely defined. Oh, mm. is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know what I've done? Just send the code there. Because I was swapping variables between local and I need to do. I tell you what, let's do this. If you get into the habit of doing this, so it's self dot win size, that's what we came out. Uh, it doesn't matter, but we'll do that. Oh, I'm going to need to do this as well. Now, 15th time lucky. Bingo! We have canvas size and it's changing. So the canvas, that's the actual size of the canvas object within the web browser. Uh, if I have a look at the element, it'll probably tell me. Where are we? There we go. 826 by 565. Uh, 465, yep, 826. But my wind size, of course, is remaining the same and it's maintaining the aspect ratio. That's useful. <coughs> right. Let's see if I can full screen a bit. 850, hang on, that didn't change. Ooh, there we go. <coughs> so, looks like it's probably to do with the in somewhere in the bowels of Cocos2D.js, the 
get canvas size isn't returning the canvas size after the resize event has occurred. It's returning it before. I'm going to have to do a you know, wait one game update loop or one scheduler tick to do that. And we won't worry about that in a minute. So there are. What else do I care about? Do I want actually wind size is useful. There are a couple of other size uh, methods on the view object. <coughs> get well, get frame size. We've got that one. We want get. Oh no, we haven't. We haven't got get frame size yet. Let's see what that does. So camera size, frame size. Um, borrow this. We want to get frame size. Frame, 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 <coughs> frame, frame, and finally frame. And down here. this add another 50 to that uh, one fifty. okay Can move it? gonna drink a lot of tea if I'm waiting for this uh, rebuild to occur having a sip every time right we got frame size now that looks suspiciously like the canvas size I oh, know it's not it's bigger Ah, right, so the frame size is going to be the actual web page size. If I shrink it down a bit, there we go. So frame size, nice and wide, 15, 14, 54 by 363. Canvas size much smaller. Let's see, is that updated? Yep, yep. Window size is still the same. So, interestingly, our window size, so all our coordinates within the, uh, the panel that we're drawing, or the layer, are referencing this window size this is wind size and that's going to be the <coughs> the, you know, the absolute coordinates if I set zero zero it's going to be bottom left um, let's draw something in bottom left what can I have if I have a uh, let's have a little panel that makes If we stick something, let's see. Did I make notes about drawing a panel? Yes. CC dot layer color. So this is a layer with a color in it. CC dot color. Let's have red. Two five five. Uh, it's going to need to be two five five. I think it's RGBA. <coughs> RGBA. And how big we want it? We just want it a few pixels by a few pixels, 10 by 10. And then we want to stick it at 00. zero. Self.turnpanel.x equals 0. Self.turnpanel.y equals 0. And what we want to do is we want to set the anchor point to the middle. Self. Zero point five, zero point five. So that means it's going to be drawn at zero zero. It's going to be the, the center of our ten by ten pixel panel is going to be at zero zero, and then we're going to add it to the canvas. Self dot add child. Uh, self dot panel. And let's stick it in front of the. Uh, and let's figure out. So they're all drawn at five. We'll put one. Let's see if it goes in front or behind of the text. <coughs> There we go, a little pixel. So that's presumably 10 by 10, but it's always zero, zero. It's always bottom left. 
which is what you'd expect. However, let's stick it in the middle. So we want the middle of wind size, which is, as we know, is 960 by 540. So, actually, we'll do that down here. Stick it one. So, wind size. Oh, no, actually, we've got temp up there. That way, we can do CC dot wind size. It looks like it's probably a constant off the CC namespace because you use it a lot. CC dot wind size dot width divided by two. CC dot wind size dot height divided by two. So that's going to stick it right in the middle of the screen. And it's always going to be in the middle of the screen, no matter how big the canvas is. But wind size isn't changing, so it's not relative to a, a, some number that's changing. It's totally fixed. It's relative to 960, half 960, and half 540. It's always going to be in the middle, no matter how much things change. OK, this is useful. Good stuff. Right. Interestingly, this is to do with show this CC resolution policy show all, according to the docs, gives you the borders around the edge. Let me just go and have a look at this. You see, where's the uh, there is resolution policy. So what can we do? Exact fit was we'll stretch fill screen by stretch to fit. If the design ratio of width height is different, then the game will be stretched. So this will give us probably not stretching by a uh, aspect ratio. It will will skew it around. So let's try it. Resolution policy, exact fit. Thanks for viewing you guys. I see you're still around. Um, I'm appearing off, off the off the monitor to look at my uh, chat window here. Uh, so yeah, so we've got wind size is still the same, which is interesting. But our frame size, which is the frame of the web browser, and the canvas size now match. So our canvas is mapping is exact fitting, and it's skewing it. Oh, look at that, yeah. Oh, nice. So it's it's not aspect ratio maintaining, or not maintaining the aspect ratio. I mean, it's all very well. You can write code like that, but uh, it's going to look pretty ugly in some situations. Useful to try it out, though. What else have we got? Actually, let's see fixed height. So let's try that. Fixed height. Oh, I'm the wrong page. I'm going to need to bring that out into a separate tab. Let's do that. And I can make it a bit bigger as well. So fixed height. I can't see what it's doing. Oh, wind size is a floating point. Oh, double variable. So 540, ah, 540 is remaining the same. But the actual window size is adjusting itself now. That's interesting. So the fixed size, let's go back to um, uh, cc.view. I was reading about set design, but it's a fixed, size, fixed height. Scale the content's height to screen height and proportionally scale its width. Did I have fixed height? Yeah. So the width is being proportionally scaled, but the height is always fixed at our design resolution. So it's, okay. Not really sure I'm gonna to need to worry about that, but we'll try fixed width as well, so it makes a difference. frames. There's probably something I can have on my screen that tells me what my drop frame rate is. Okay, so let's move this around. Okay, so the height is now saying 960, but the width is scaling up and down. Uh, okay, and it's proportionally scaling, so the fonts still look reasonable. But my height, as you can see, where my uh, blob is f coded at width, it was, it's not, it's, it's not changing. When the app starts up, 
it's drawn in the middle, but it doesn't change. We haven't updated it in update, so it's always drawn at that fixed height. So actually, it's stuck in the middle there, but it's not always in the centre. It's it's always at whatever the height of the design resolution. The, um, the first thing is it's probably going to be 540 divided by two, which is 260. No, uh, no, what I'm talking about 250, 270, isn't it? Yeah. It's always going to be 270 off the bottom. Okay, I can see that being useful as well. What else do we have? Uh, no border. Full screen without border. If the design resolution ratio of width to height is different, two areas of game will be cut. Oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Let's just try that. We've got fixed height. No, um, no border. Right. So I want to go back and change this to no border. I need to go and check that. Yeah, just no border. So yeah, it's still maintaining the window size, but it's clipping. Yeah, I guess that's the minimum width of Safari. Uh, but it's clipping the windows around, so that's no border. So that's just scaling. Show all. Well, it's all very interesting. All this stuff, exact fit, no border, show all. Um, but what we really want to do, I mean, this is fixed height, fixed width, exact fit, show all. <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Try. So, what did I want? I want exact fit. Exact fit. So that my no, I don't want exact fit. That's going to stretch it. I want no border. No, no, I don't want no border. I want show all. All right. Show all. Here we go. So I'm always going to get the right width and height. It's always going to be showing on the screen and get borders. What I'm going to do is design. I mean, there's lots of choices. One could design a uh, 69, 1610, 43 for iPads, Android devices have all sorts of wacky uh, resolutions, don't they? But I'm going to go with 69 because that's probably the most common PC resolution. And you might as well think about actual screens so there's no harm in doesn't really if you, as long as you go with a 69 resolution it doesn't really matter what your actual coordinate system is so I might as well go at 1920 by 1080 and this isn't going to make any difference to my window it will always be filling the browser but my coordinates will end up being in the range of 1920 by 1080 which means my artists can work at that screen resolution size and know that it's, you know, be able to figure out exactly where things are going to go on the screen. As I say, my artist, <laughs> my my friend who may help me out doing some artwork. Um, I could stick that design resolution down to something really low to use the original assets that I've got, which are all designed for like 320 by 480. They're really tiny. Um, can you really make this game work on a Sony Ericsson? 750i, that's what uh, JC says. No, I'm not making it work on a Sony Ericsson 750i. It already does. What I'm doing is remaking it to work on PCs and iPhones and modern devices. The actual game itself was released 12 years ago or more for the Sony Ericsson's and other old phones. So I'm not actually uh, not actually doing it for that now. Um, I wondered about that. I did mention the uh, Sony Ericsson in the video description. I might have to sort of clarify that to make sure everyone knows what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing a modern game. <laughs> Although I have the source code for the old game which I showed last week. Um, so here we are. My window size is 1920 by 1080. Canvas size is zipping all over the place as I move around but it's all still maintaining its aspect ratio. Right, that's good. So let us, let us think about whether or not I can make it full screen as well. Um, that would be rather handy. Let's stick something I need a button to go full screen, so we're going to have to add a menu. 
So we're adding all sorts of things to our scene at the moment. It doesn't matter, it's just testing out at the moment, figuring out what I can and can't do. Um, we need a menu. Let's look at my notes. some of the Kokos 2D TT label TTF. Where are we? Well, 10 minutes ago I might run it over a bit. Last time my video cut off before the end of the stream. I think I overran by about 20 minutes, so the stream was about an hour and 20, but the video only comes in about an hour and 10. Not sure what happened there. Hopefully this one, the video will uh, will be all the, all the time. So label, uh, Full screen. Let's see. Full screen. Uh, it's smaller than before. Now, CC menu item label. Somewhere, I want to figure out what how to use this. Um, CC dot node, yeah, they're nodes, aren't they? Uh, menu item, here we are, menu item label. So we've got label, which is our CC label TTF, selector and target, selector being the function name, target being the object you're going to call it on. So let's, we need a, we need a function that, uh, let's call it on button and so everyone gets terribly uh, terribly confused with full screen and full screen you'll see it used all over the place in different ways I'll try and stick with lowercase because full screen in my book is one word but in many people's books it's two words but anyway full screen button and we're calling it ourselves so it's self. So now we want to uh, let's, let's give it a color. So set color, and we want color red, green. Let's have a green one. Two five five, right? And I'm going to stick it in the stick it in our in our menu. We haven't got a menu yet, have we? We need a CC menu somewhere. Right, so we've got to do equals menu, uh, and we're going to add self.full screen button to it. 
Then we're going to lay it out vertically. Menu dot align items vertically. I gened up on this before, um, so I wasn't wasting too much time staring at the docs. But CC menu, which is somewhere around here. CC layer, is it, I think? Yeah. Has this layout, a couple of layout functions, which are kind of handy. Um, oh, alignment functions, there we go. Align items vertically. Vertically, is that how you spell it? Yeah. And put a gap between them. So we've got a menu. We need to stick the menu on the screen. And the menu is going to be the same size as our panel. So menu dot x equals self dot menu panel dot get content. So having laid out the menu, uh, well, well, let's see. I could just stick it in the middle of the screen and see what happens. Let's try that. I was trying to think about uh, thinking I need to uh, scale, I need to position the menu based on the height after it's worked out all the items and things, but for now we'll just stick it in cc.winsize.x2. Hopefully that will be uh, so. So this. Oh, I've got a phone call coming. Yeah, come on. Sorry, phone calls ring. <laughs> they can uh, come back in a minute. This dot menu. What am I trying to do? This dot menu panel. I want to add the menu to it, don't I? Right. That was quite a lot of code in one go. See if it works. in there. Right. Did I add the button? Self dot full screen button to the menu. Oh I haven't added the menu panel. Yes I have, yeah. Maybe it's the positionings doesn't like. Um, let's see. Menu panel height. vertically set the position of the menu let's try and refresh that yeah so my menu panel changed the size but my button is not in the middle of it why not why isn't my button in the middle of it
So I've got a menu panel. Menu panel stuck in the middle of the screen, added to the scene. And I'm creating a button and a menu. I'm adding, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yes, yes. So that's, that's creating the menu and adding the button to it at the same time. I'm creating a menu with the button, aligning it. I can probably don't need to do that. Then we're positioning the menu, and then we're adding the menu to the panel, which is already on the screen. So why is that not showing? Sorry, my button color. I'll leave that off for a minute. Nothing in there. Maybe this dot menu panel. Oh, I'm doing this, but it doesn't matter, does it? Self dot menu panel. Self to add child menu panel. Yeah, menu panel height. Cease new label TTF. That's okay, isn't it? Aerial full screen. New label TTF. Menu item label. Maybe I don't need to do that. Look at my notes here. Seems to be pretty much what I wrote down. Nope, nothing in the middle. Let's move around a bit. How about we debug it and see what it's doing? Um, I don't think about that. Debugger. Source of it. So. Refresh. Hello. You're on camera. And I'm streaming live. <laughs> I'll be pretty soon. I forgot. Uh, it's alright. I won't be long. You can close the door. <laughs> Did this break? It didn't break. That was my wife there. Just interrupting me. I better close the door probably. Check things are still going. Oh, one hour, three minutes. Yeah, I should finish up very soon. Just want to get, find out why my menu is not working. Because if I've got a menu, I've got a button. If I've got a button, I can enable the full screen on the click of a button. Um, but it's not working at the moment, and I'm not getting a debugger either. Why can't it debug? Well, let's close that. So, bring it up again. Is there a reload button on the stupid? There it is. Reload. And my breakpoint keeps disappearing. <sighs> Things never work when you want them to, do they? Menu, full screen button. Yep, full screen button is up there. Do I have to add the menu to the channel? I suppose I do. Yeah, because I've got to add the menu to the menu panel. I don't suppose I have to add menu panel after the. Uh, Afterwards, no, pretty sure that shouldn't do, be doing that. Hmm. Self 
the full screen button, set color. Oh, I wonder if it's relative to the size of that. Uh, let's just do, I don't know, let's just put it in like 50-50. Uh, I bet it's doing something like that. It's probably drawing it outside the panel, isn't it? There it is, there's my button. Yay, I can click it, right. So how do I stick it in the middle of the screen? So the menu is menu set anchor position. What is it? Anchor point. So anchor point. Zero point five. Zero point five. And we want to set it at the midpoint of the. Canvas, so we want self the menu panel get content width. Oh, that's it. So get content width will give me the width of the menu panel and get content height. Oh, no, it's not get content width, it's get content size, and that returns a size which has a dot width in it. Get content size dot height. Hopefully that will give us a menu button in the middle of the screen. Bingo. So I happen to know that the cc.screen uh, class or object has, where's my, oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? cc.screen, it was TVX. API cc.screen has some methods which allow us to go full screen. So we've got full screen. Um, request full screen, that's what we want. Uh, so when we button press callback is invoked, I want to do so. I want to test if it's full screen. If it is, dot full screen. Ha! <laughs> So Coco CDX just decided to use screen as a separate uh, separate word. I better uh, if I don't do the same thing, I'll end up getting confused all over the place. We'll leave it like this for now. CC dot if it's full screen, then we want to exit full screen. Else we want to enable full screen. CC dot screen dot uh, what would we do? We request full screen, and you have to pass it document document element. Document or document element is the the canvas or the, the screen window. And it doesn't really matter what you pass it, but it's just something. And you've got to pass it a callback function. is, and in fact I know that the callback is called when you enter and exit full screen. So I'm going to do a test if we're in full screen. So if we've entered full screen, we can update our label panel. Uh, so self.full screen label panel button to be exit full screen. And otherwise, Enable full screen. Actually, let's just call it end of full screen. I want this button a bit bigger. Couldn't really see it before. Let's call it 48. Okay. Ooh. We are using self down here. I just noticed that. Uh, Okay, 
Let's see what happens here. Oh, running out of time. If, 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 if this works, it'll probably be a good place to stop for the day. Bingo, we're in full screen. And our frame size, 1920 by 1080. Canvas size, canvas size hasn't updated because it's one tick behind. I'll have to fix that. Do a, do a resize callback or do a schedule the update of the canvas label, the button labels in, in one tick. And then you've got the wind size still the same. If I exit full screen, hopefully it'll go back. Yes, it does. Hopefully I can hit escape as well. Yes, bingo. So I understand what it means to define a particular design resolution for our game. And it's going to be 1920 by 1080. I know what resize with browser size true does. Uh, we set it to false, then it says at that resolution. Adjust viewport, we're going to leave like it is because the uh, documentation recommends it. Enable retina, we don't care about that at the moment. In fact, I'm going to get rid of it. Just get rid of that. And then, just out of curiosity, how big is our canvas when it creates? Although, that really doesn't matter what that is because in the, um, the just viewport is going to change it as soon as the game code starts to load. And then inside our app, we have a full screen button callback, which is kind of handy for now. Update label sizes, which uh, we get callback on a resize. I don't like that in there. I'm going to actually abstract that out at some point, but it's there for testing purposes at the moment. Also, the full screen button is probably not a good place to put it here. But it's just useful to test it out. So what? What our game is going to be running at is 1920 by 1080, but it will scale down. So if you only have a lower resolution screen, as long as it's 16.9, you'll get a full screen. And if you don't want that, you can resize the browser around to anything you like. Um, given the fact that this game was portrait when I originally made it for a mobile phone, um, there might be a lot of stuff down the edges of the screen that are fluff just like border stuff going on because it's actually a block dropping Tetris like game so it's designed for a portrait screen although we did do some landscape resolution versions back in the day um, but for now I've got my main screen I've got some stuff going on with some menu buttons it's quite handy uh, we'll, we'll add some graphics later on menu buttons and uh, full screens and stuff didn't get around to doing the splash screens but now I know a bit more about how the Kokos 2D uh, coordinate system works and I've decided on some coordinates and everything within our game logic that has to position things on the screen is going to position things relative to a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Awesome. So get rid of all that. Stick this in GitHub. Let's go away. Another thing I'm going to do is figure out a faster way of reloading because that was a real killer, that uh, load run and test cycle it took like seconds for the thing to start up probably because I enabled or I turned the caching off but um, really need it on yeah it's using uh, timestamps on all the URLs so it's reloading the whole thing uh, so I'll figure out a way of doing that there might be a way of bundling the Cocos 2D JS source files into a single uh, single source file as if you were going to distribute it uh, and then you use that for m normal development unless you need to get heavily debugging down into the source code um, that'll probably be the best way to do it to start with uh, let's jump into SmugGit I'll move my windows up wait so commit this commit oh there was one commit that I haven't pushed to GitHub yet that I did earlier on while I was fiddling around and that's I realized that you need the dot cocos dash project dot json file in the um, in the project in order to do a Cocos run on it. So if anyone tries to check out the code from GitHub, you still have to do, a, it still won't work if you do that because you have to have the Cocos new framework folder all in there. Let me just, um, so you need to have this frameworks folder which currently isn't in GitHub. Um, but without the, without the dot Cocos JSON project, nothing would work. So I put that in there. I'll push that up in a minute. I'm going to commit this now. Um, add a full screen 
button, test code two, and to investigate the cost to JS. Uh, what is it? It's not screen resolution. It's game resolution methods. Game resolution methods like, and in particular, the one we cared about was uh, set design. Okay. And then go to this particular cc.view.set design s well, resolution size. Come and push. Great. Well, that'll do me for the day. That's been an hour and so many minutes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I shall just type in. Cheers for watching, guys. Do, do like my channel if you want to watch more. I shall be back again the same time next week. I may well, if you're lucky, do a couple of streams during the week as well, although they seem to be fairly uh, uh, uncommon at the moment. Um, definitely enjoy myself though. I'm going to switch off my screen back to my splash screen for the ending using my Mac keyboard here. Let's see. And then let's check my stream and then I'll close up <laughs> yeah we're back to the uh, back to the splash screen cheers then see you next week